the valley. Cows. Not the car, the cows. Fart. Greenhouse gas. Oh no. Or is that greenhouse ass? Yes, man. Way up in there's the sun. Oh, I love weather like this. I love it. Just got it. Stop that truck stop filled up. I don't need gas probably for a while. Four or five hundred miles. So I'm, I'm good. Next time I stop at a well for gassing, it'll probably be, I don't know. Probably coming back down south. I'll try to make it to the home pass or uh, Bakersfield. Maybe sometimes I can make it to Castaic Lake in the 70s. Everybody said, dude, we're going to Castaic Lake. Castaic Lake up by Valencia, Magic Mountain. Oh, Magic Mountain. No one knew what a Valencia was or New Hall. They knew Magic Mountain. So yeah, you're up by past the Magic Mountain, Castaic Lake. They used to have drag boat races there. Drag boat, top fuel on the lower lake, lagoon, and it was Castaic Lake. Then some jackass on channel five or nine or seven, something, probably 11, started calling it Castaic Laic. The I say Laic. Say, okay, and then up in Castaic, Castaic Lake, I'm like, Castaic Lake? It's not Castaic Laic. It's Castaic Lake. Not Castaic Lake. You idiot. So you know if it's a an OG California because they say Castaic Lake. If it's some Nimrod that's moved here since like the 90s or whenever or the 2000s. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's going to be 2020. Anyway. It was called Castaic Lake. Not Castaic Lake. Like Bakersfield or Fresno. There was the same guy who used to say Sepulveda. On Sepulveda Boulevard, there is a, you know, something, an accident. It's not Sepulveda, you retard. It's Sepulveda. Be going Sepulveda. Be going Sepulveda. See, no one knows what that song is. Because you gotta be an old man. I know it because I used to work for restoration in the studios. Now restoration is doing stuff that was shot in the 80s. The 70s is like prehistoric. Look at all those trees, how green it is. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, later. So that was your uh, thing on Castaic Laic, which is uh, actually they had to stop people from swimming and going there because so many illegals, and this was in the 80s, when they just call them uh, illegal Mexicans. That's what they say on the, in the news. So apparently a lot of illegal Mexicans or migrant farm workers are, they're just going to the lake and washing their ugly little babies and kids in it and throwing the diapers in the lake. Cause that's what they do down there. That's why you go down there and you drink a little bit of water and you start blasting. Cause they don't know what sanitary is, so. There you go. That was a big problem in the 80s, and they had to really crack down on that and make sure nobody was throwing their friggin' kids' diapers into a lake where it's the drinking water for a friggin' LA. Jeez Louise. There are so many reasons why that border needs to be. And I like, okay, I'm getting, oh, look at, see, that is an emergency stop for uh, trucks. Brakes go out. They go up that dirt, and if, boy, they, if they don't stop by the time they get there, they're dead. 
That's one. This is an older one, but it was just a road. And here's another one. It's a ramp. So if you get to the top of that ramp, but there's so much sand that you just sink. And that's the plan. You don't actually go over the ramp and, and die. You, you never make it up there. Because trucks are only going about a hundred and something miles an hour if they lose their brakes. I've seen it happen a couple of times, it's pretty cool. Not for the driver, but everybody else. Wow, I got a little bit of sun. What time is it? It's like 6.30, 6 something, almost 7. All right, look at that. The beautiful view of Central California farming. Uh, yes, sir. Look at that. Beautiful. That's a dang beautiful shot. I can't believe sometimes how beautiful California is. I hope it, it can be saved by from itself. I hope it can be saved by the people that have that have commandeered it and want to turn it into a socialist state. This is too pretty. And socialism, in, in, in just for a little history and Bible and all that. So these people that want to be socialist and live in, live like in communal lives, or everybody is the same, and you work, everybody works, and they get a piece of you know land to work that land. But everybody does something, so everybody's equal. That's exactly what's going to happen when the Lord returns. It's going to be. It's called the. Uh, well, I can't think of it now. It was called well, Orderville in Utah. Yeah, li living the United Order, where everybody is working for everyone else, and everybody, no one's got more, no one's got less. Everybody is equal. So you'll see that in the millennium now. For those people that believe, and those that don't, you will be shot off into the ether and exist no more and float around in darkness. <laughs> Whatever you want. Hey, I don't care. It's your life, your death. Wow, that's pretty. I like that. That's nice. I've come down that through there before. Up that way is Kings Canyon and all that. Sequoia National Park and all that. And over there is the Pacific. Why the sun's setting that way. All right, later.